Welcome back to day nine of the Electrolytic Silver Cell refining series. There's our current flow on the beast. Cell number two is about 1.2 amps. There's our anode filter basket. Cell number one, anode filter basket. And there's our current flow on cell number one. I've reinstalled both fuses here with three amp fuses. Let's take a look down inside cell number one. See how this thing is looking. Nice. Very nice crystal growth in there. Gonna give this thing just a little bit of a drink of electrolyte. That's cell number one, looking good. This is day nine and we're getting pretty close to being complete here. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to add any more impure silver in here, but I'm going to put in a uh, uh, electrode bar to act as a uh, buffer between the good anode electrode bar and the uh, electrolyte down inside that anode filter. You can see now we've got a current flow of 1.2 amps in cell number one. This is the current flow in cell number two. Let's take a look down inside of here now. See what we've got going on in cell number two. Oh yeah. Let's give this one a drink as well. Be, uh, I should do it for cell two. Looking good in there. Day nine. And we're going to put an anode electrode bar in this basket as well to act as a buffer. And then here's our current flow after that little bit of maintenance. Current flow in the beast is 2.1 amps. Now let's get down in here and see what we're looking like inside of this silver cell. That looks spectacular. Just beautiful. Look at that pure silver crystal in there. See these trees forming here on the edges? some at the bottom this is looking really really good look at them ones back there in the back man that is awesome and this is exactly what we like to see at this point in the process i'm going to pour a little bit of electrolyte in here as well just a touch Beautiful. There's our amp readings on the beast after adding and stirring some electrolyte. Now what I think we'll do is we're going to go ahead and charge this thing up with some of our uh, sacrificial anode bars. 
to uh, protect our expensive anode bar back here from getting dissolved. Okay, another thing I do when I get to this point is I've got this piece of metal. I think it's brass. I'm gonna set that on here. It weighs a pretty good amount, probably at least a pound and a half. Then we're gonna set our anode up on top of this thing. And that will put some downward pressure on the impure silver down here in our anode basket and keep that stuff feeding down as it dissolves in the anode filter. The ambient temperature has been about 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which is zero Fahrenheit, or Celsius rather. And these cells are cool to the touch. No heat being generated. We've got the, uh, everything all set up like we want it. It's getting very close to being harvest day. So what we'll do is we'll uh, keep an eye on these things overnight and just let them continue to run. And this will conclude Silver Cell Maintenance for day nine. Thank you for watching.